Hey guys, it's Katie. So after seeing a few of these videos uh, floating around booktube, I decided that I wanted to make a reading journal for 2020. Um, I'm really bad at keeping up bullet journals, but I figured if it's a reading journal and all I'm doing is tracking my reading, then I shouldn't have too much of a problem keeping up with it. So right now I'm just kind of making the title page for the bullet journal, um, just to make it cute, you know. I and then now for the next page, I'm going to be doing a kind of Goodreads tracker kind of page. Um, I did complete my challenge for this year of reading 100 books, so I'm going to go ahead and try to read 100 books again next year. I really like the way this tracker works. Um, I'm just drawing some shelves, and then I'm going to draw 100 books, like 100 little books on these shelves. And as I read books, I'm just going to color them in as I complete them and then I can kind of see my progress of my reading challenge in a visual rather than just trying to look it up online. Now the next pages, I wanted to actually create something that I could use to write down every book that I actually read this year. So I'm making this page um, that's kind of reminiscent of like an old library card. I saw this idea on Pinterest and I thought it was super cute. So I'm just doing that and I'm making enough spaces that I can actually write down like 100 books. Um, I don't know if I put a little more or if I just put exactly a hundred, but if I end up reading more, eh, we might run out of room, but it's okay because I kind of struggled to read a hundred books this year, so I don't know if I'm going to read them again next year, but we'll see. So I'm just making these columns and I'm writing due date, um, but that's going to be the date that I started reading the book, and then I'm going to put the title of the book and then the date that I s finished the book, um, that way I can see like how long it took me to read the books and everything like that. Um, I just thought that was a cute idea. Next I just went ahead and I'm creating this tracker. I wanted to see how many books I read per month. So I'm just creating kind of a little, uh, what do they call these? I don't even know, a chart. Gosh, I need to go back to fourth grade. Um, <laughs> But anyway, just this little like chart so I can track how many books I read per month. I just have the months on the bottom and then random numbers on the side. And then for my next spread, I'm going to be doing kind of like trackers to keep track of all the readathons during the year and um, new releases that come out during the year. So I'm just, I made these little calendars and I'm going to put each month on them and then I'm going to put like a date and what readathons happening and what books are being released. I actually want to keep track of like what books are coming out this year so I can actually buy them and like be ahead of the hype because I always read books like 10 years after they come out but I actually want to know when books come out now because there are a few books that are coming out that I'm super excited for and I'll be making a whole separate video on that but I really want to read them and I need to know when they come out because I can never keep track of these things like I never remember when books are coming out until people have already started talking about them and then I get spoiled and I'm sad. Um, <laughs> but we're gonna try to keep track and be a better booktuber this year. I also want to do more readathons, and of course I had to write down uh, Hogwarts House Battles happening in September again because I'm totally going to do it again this year. Um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, these next few pages are just the basic 2020 at a glance calendar page. Um, they're not very useful, especially for this, but I 
just like to be able to see like the year and the days and stuff and know like kind of what days fall on plus it's good for like planning videos and stuff like that um I saw this kind of design on Pinterest and I thought it was cute so I decided to just um do this let me tell you writing all these little numbers takes forever I love the people that put just like calendar stickers that they buy online like that seems like such a easier thing to do but we we did it um now this next spread I'm just using to kind of track my numbers throughout the year I want to grow this channel a lot more so I'm just kind of writing YouTube Instagram and Twitter and I'm putting little symbols for each one and in those little boxes I'm gonna write just like subscriber follower count kind of thing just to see how I grew throughout the year um, whenever I reach a milestone I'll just write it down in the little boxes um, I want to get more into bookstagram definitely uh, I'm, I'm pretty active on Twitter like all the time I talk to people on there and follow a lot of book accounts I need to find um, I need to get more active on bookstagram and I definitely want to keep getting more active on YouTube um, I go through these weird phases every year where like I want to like just try harder on YouTube and then I end up like slacking off halfway through the year but I have a lot of ideas and I love this community so much that I just want to get more active in it. Now I'm moving on to the actual monthly spreads. So I'm starting out with January, obviously. So I'm just making this little uh, title page for the month. Um, I thought it was cute and simple. Just drawing some little stack of books. And on the other side, I'm writing a little section to write like a TBR for the month, haul and wrap up. That way I can film those um, videos. And then on the next page, I'm also writing like readathons for that month. So I have like a better idea of what's going on that month. And also videos that I want to film. I also thought it was fun to do this little daily tracker to kind of see how many pages I read every single day. Because I really want to try to read every day. Um, I don't currently do that. I mean, I read a lot of books, but I just, I don't have to, I, I, I just sometimes I don't feel like reading, you know? But um, I really want to make it a thing to read every night. So we're going to try that. And then I want to do more reviews as well. So I'm writing this little uh, review tracker here where I can keep track of all the books I read and the star rating I gave them for that book. I should probably film more um, reviews. So here's me awkwardly trying to wave because I didn't know how to wave at a camera. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.